I would like an okay. opportunity to respond. Let me give you 30 seconds because, we, we, because we're running out of time. I appreciate that. First of all, having served as the Attorney General of the State of California, the work that I did is a model of what our nation needs to do and we will be able to do under a Joe Biden presidency. Our, our agenda includes what this administration has failed to do. It will be about not only <clears throat> instituting a ban on chokeholds and carotid holes. Thank you. Not only, uh, thank you, Senator I Harris. would like to go through. These are points that you made earlier in the hour, and I want to talk about the election itself before we have to. But I want to talk day. about the connection between what Joe and I will do and my record, which includes I was the first statewide officer to institute a requirement that my agents would wear body cameras and keep them on full time. We were the first to initiate a, a requirement that there would be a training for law enforcement on implicit bias because, yes, Joe Biden and I recognize that implicit bias does exist, Mr. Vice President, contrary to what you may believe. We did the work of instituting reforms that were about re investing in reentry. This is the work that we have done and the work we will do going forward. And again, I will not be lectured by the Vice President on our record of what we have done in terms of law enforcement and keeping our communities safe and a commitment to reforming the criminal justice system of America. Thank you, Senator Harris. And I'd like to pose the first, I'd like you to respond first to the question on our final topic, the election itself. President Trump has several times refused to commit himself to a peaceful transfer of power after the election. If your ticket wins and President Trump refuses to accept a peaceful transfer of power, what steps would you and Vice President Biden then take? What would happen next? You have two minutes. So I'll tell you, um, Joe and I are, I think, particularly um, proud of the coalition that we've built around our campaign. We probably have one of the broadest coalitions of folks that you've ever seen in a presidential race. Of course, we have the support of Democrats, but also independents and Republicans. In fact, um, seven members of uh, President George W. Bush's cabinet are supporting our ticket. Uh, we have the support of, of Colin Powell, Cindy McCain, John Kasich, um, over 500 uh, generals, retired generals, and, and former national security experts and advisors are supporting our campaign. And I believe they are doing that because they know that Joe Biden has a deep, deep-seated commitment to fight for our democracy and to fight for the integrity of our democracy and to bring integrity back to the White House. And so we believe in the American people. We believe in our democracy. And here's what I'd like to say to everybody. Vote. Please vote. Vote early. Come up with a plan to vote. Go to IWillVote.com. You can also go to, to JoeBiden.com. We have it within our power.